So about modes of exercises, um, energy of four exercises, myocardial contractility. Uh, so, mm -hmm. okay. um, so generally, uh, we need to uh, discern different modes of uh, uh, exercises uh, in order to understand them better. This is an idea that is common for uh, a lot of um, your education, of our education, that we divide sometimes a bit artificially the um, science into parts in order to find common things for them and to um, use it better. Uh, however, it is uh, important for you to uh, remember that this division is quite uh, artificial. Yes, uh, So we cannot have something that is purely and only aerobic or purely and only anaerobic exercise. Uh, this is just something that can be uh, mostly aerobic, mostly anaerobic, sometimes it's a bit mixed. Uh, and uh, different types of metabolism is also uh, possible in both of uh, the situations. It also will depend on um, the training, the genetic predispositions and a lot, a lot of other things. There is some continuum of, um, of different behaviors, different modes of exercises, uh, yet uh, it's still uh, extremely... Uh, Useful, yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. okay, so generally, uh, what is aerobic exercise? Aerobic exercises use large muscle mass and cause increase uh, significantly oxygen demand, and this is important, yes, because this was the uh, main idea that uh, was behind it. Uh, so we have the uh, aerobic exercise. So aerobic means using a lot of oxygen. This is uh, particularly true for those exercises, for those endurance exercises like marathon running, things like that, when uh, the organism is uh, suited, is targeting uh, to use big muscle groups, to use a lot of energy and to produce this energy as efficiently as possible. Uh, so via uh, <clears throat> phosphorylation, oxidative phosphorylation in mitochondria. So, if you want to get as much energy as possible, if we are using a lot of energy, we need to use also a lot of oxygen. Uh, and you have these aerobic exercises. So, it's, if you think in this, um, in this key, yes, this seems quite logical, which types of exercises may be related to this. So, for example, running, sailing, swimming, walking, uh, will all be aerobic sizes. So what is common for them? Uh, one more time, we have this oxidative phosphorylation. So oxidative phosphorylation is how we get ATP via mitochondria. And also generally, um, it includes big muscle groups. Yes, It's generally uh, taking a lot of uh, energy, generally speaking, of whole of the organism. Um, okay, we also have the anaerobic exercises. Anaerobic exercises uh, do not need so much oxygen. Why they do not need so much oxygen? Because the mode of energy production is without oxygen, yes, through the uh, glycolysis. Uh, glycolysis is far faster than uh, oxidative phosphorylation in mitochondria. We will talk more about it later. Uh, does not need oxygen, but is far less efficient. That's why generally anaerobic exercises cannot be sustained for so long as the aerobic ones. Uh, but they have some uh, diff... I do not say that anaerobic are worse because of it, yes. Anaerobic exercises can lead to, uh, and generally leads to, uh, more efficient increasing of the muscle mass. They are related to bigger force output, yes, because uh, although we cannot sustain them for very long usually, uh, they will be far uh, more explosive, yes, uh, far faster uh, and far stronger. Uh, so, 
For example, if you think in this key, it would also be easy to remember which are an anaerobic exercises, so which are uh, exercises that are uh, mainly related to uh, explosive increase of strength, explosive uh, production of ATP. Uh, so fast uh, that the blood supply and oxygen supply would just not be able to cope uh, with so huge uh, demand. Uh, so, for example, we have this weightlifting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, so, we, for example, we have this weightlifting. Uh, we have sprinting, high intensity interval training, things like that. Uh, also, uh, what is quite uh, obvious, yes, is that, that we know that exercises are reducing mortality rate. Mortality rate. Uh, how we know it? We know that generally the sedentary lifestyle is related to increasing of the uh, morbidity mortality rates uh, of uh, related to a lot of diseases like diabetes, uh, like. Uh, atherosclerosis, uh, so it's also related to strokes, to heart attacks, things like that. And uh, these diseases, the rate uh, of death with related to these diseases, may be reduced uh, thanks to exercises, yes, and to thanks to proper exercises related to um, to the situation of patients and to goals that we want to achieve. Okay, thank you.